Brevard County, it is week two of vaccinations. Officials there say its drive through setup should be considered a model for Central Florida. The county says since it started last Monday, it has received more vaccines and is now expecting up to 2,000 more. News 6's James Barbero is at the health department with an update. What have you learned in a week with administering vaccines? The pace at which they're being administered? Ours was a model setup. Other counties that have done first come, first serve have seen the nightmare that creates. What Brevard County created began last Monday with 3,500 drive through vaccines booked through January. Then the county says its health department received 1,400 more Moderna vaccines on Wednesday. And now, as the county expects another 2,000 of them, the communications director says seniors are beginning to have an easier time making an appointment. Because we're getting 700 or more shots in arms per day, we're reaching out to folks that had appointments for later in the month and we're moving them up earlier in the month so they could even be getting appointments as early as this week. And that leaves us room later in the month to do those additional 2,000 vaccines for the people who had called initially to make appointments but weren't able to get through. Of Brevard's 150,000 seniors, the county says as many as 7,000 have been vaccinated. Getting the appointment was the hardest. Including Sue Dunn. And by the time these patients need their second shot, the county says the state is telling them those vaccines will be available. Well, I think it was a bit of a challenge when they first opened up. I think they have improved the systems considerably. The county health department ran extremely efficiently. We're at the mercy of the state on how many vaccines we get, but as soon as we get them, we're getting shots in arms as quickly as possible. In Vieira, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.